Scott's back. Murphy's back. Murphy's back. Last time we talked was D minus. Has he come up in the world any? Maybe just a little. I can see? Maybe, yeah, we'll <laughs> see. Yeah. I like the sound of that. <laughs> C student. Yeah. I can dig it. Yeah, we can All always right. take average. Now, I'm in a situation where I don't need a show dog. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna have many more than five or six at a time. If I do have some lambs, they're gonna be for our consumption. Right. So I'm not gonna run a huge bunch of stock. But on occasion, I would like to let them out of my movable fence and just bring him in when I need to, just to round up a few and bring him back mm -hmm. in. Do you think he would be capable of doing I something? think so. Every time I turn around, there's somebody else who's seen our show on sheep who wants to get sheep mm -hmm. because they're not that hard to take care of. I mean, basically, warm them, take care of the hooves, and hopefully with the katons, that's about all you'll need. Right. So today, we're going to take Murphy. Okay. It looks like he's. It looks like he's ready to do something. Yeah, we'll see. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Murphy actually did what he's supposed to. He got him in the barn. He did. How about that? He did. Because there's hope. There is hope. Well, you know what? I don't need that much. My needs are small. You have people that probably need a lot more, have bigger herds, so on mm -hmm. and so forth. So sometime in the near future, I want to continue the series. We've kind of seen part one. We've seen part two. Murphy's doing what I need him to do. One of the things is you can let them out in an area like this and you have a dog to bring them right back in. And right. that's that's really what do most people want them for? I mean what when you when you're selling a dog, what do those people expect? What do they want it for? Well, to go out and gather the stock and usually within three or three or four hundred feet. Right. You know, we don't we don't have to put a lot of distance on them a great lot of the time. Right. And just a little bit on their flanks. Of course you gotta have a stop and call them off the stock. Right. And that's the that's the main thing about five about five commands and that most people's good. I mean, we used to put more than that on them, but now in your training facility, I notice that you don't get loud. Why is that? Why do you? If you start them hollering at them, you'll always be hollering at them. Yeah. So you want to start them quiet. They can they can hear you from a long ways. Yeah. Us carrying on this conversation. So they're here and exceptional. Beginning. Oh yes. You don't have to scream and at them. So. If you teach them to listen for you, you don't. You can whisper, and out there, two or three hundred feet, Does you that can mean whisper. Is that the dog whisper? No, not hardly. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm looking forward to the next installment, and uh, we hope to see you soon. And thank sounds, you so much. Sounds for good. Appreciate you.